another delightful pink mains voltage Chinese delight. It's a USB charger. And this one is uh, apparently rated 5 volts at 1 amp. So um, let's give that a wee test, shall we? Here's a, the main supply, a death adapter. Uh, there's a little voltage monitor. And I'll plug that in. And let's see what voltage it comes up with. 5.03, that's pretty good. Nice, accurate voltage. Let's plug uh, a 1 amp load in. And the voltage is now not readable because it's just jittering and flickering one of the digits. So um, it's obviously not rated for 1 amp. What amps I put it to 2 amp? Nope, not even, not even the green light and that light. Uh, no, it's not capable of supplying an amp. So let's take a look inside and see what sort of electrical separation it's got. I'm guessing that it was probably quite electrically noisy when it was loaded up as well. this glued? No, it's just clipped in. Okay, I think I'll discharge that capacitor just in case it's got anything nasty in it, so um, I'll just slip that back in there. Okay, so what have we got? We've got the mains come in, goes through a single diode as the rectifier. Um, that electrolytic capacitor under the sticky pad. It's the two transistor with the opto isolator um, feedback. It's got this very small um, electrical interference pressure capacitor. That's just uncomfortably small between the live side and the output. Seems to have modestly good separation. Except this track going up here. Oh no, the uptie isolator's up there. So um, these are the low voltage connections and they've just completely defeated that um, isolation by bringing it within about a millimetre here. That's not very good, it's kind of silly really. Maybe they've just been over saving space. Circuitry uh, on the output, uh, the transformer, low, very low profile transformer, nothing really heavy in the way of insulation in the secondary. It just looks like standard copper wire wound very much in the vicinity of the primary copper wire as well, so that's probably just one layer of lacquer that's between you and certain death. Um, so the power supply in the secondary is it's coming out, going through this diode, quite normal, going across to this electrolytic capacitor, and the sense circuit it's just this resistor, a zener, and the opto isolator, which is, you know, it seems to work well enough. It's not super accurate, but it's good enough. But, um, there is, n oh no, the two middle pins are hooked up. I'm guessing that means this is really just rated 500 milliamps max. But to be honest, the electrical separation just isn't actually good enough. Um, just little features, like if they'd, the secondary they'd wound it on in a thicker insulation, and um, if they just moved, shuffled the components a little bit, um, they could have actually fitted those resistors and just tucked, lifted that capacitor up on it, and that would have let them move the opto isolator down. And that really needs to be a, a physically bigger, a better rated um, separation capacitor. Um, so they could have made it better for very little extra cost, but they decided to do the um, suicide route sort of thing like that and make the electrical death trap adapter instead. Oh well, another pink death trap.